A few months ago, I put a timer and a solid state relay on this hot water tank so it only heat up the water when the electricity is cheapest. But things did not end well for that solid state relay. Here's what's left of it, uh, somewhat melted. Uh, and there's even some flames shooting out of it. And that actually partially melted the insulation on the pipes. But fortunately, I made it so that there's nothing flammable too close to it. So it didn't set anything else on fire, it just set off the smoke detector. This charred mess started out as one of these. Let's have a look at uh, what's left here. Okay, so that's just the uh, melted plastic lid. That's the mounting screw right here. And there appears to be something right about here, something very small. The grease on here is surprisingly still intact. That would suggest that it didn't actually get that hot down here. So to get a better sense of what was inside here, clearly something right here, some kind of semiconductor. I'm going to pop open this one, which is still good. So, we have a little circuit board and one TO220 type switching transistor. Hmm. There's the relay guts. Just a circuit board and the one transistor here. I looked at this part and it's capable of taking 125 amperes briefly. A TO220 package like this can take up to 50 watts of heat dissipation with a really good heatsink, says Wikipedia, and at 1.8 volts voltage drop and 25 amperes, it's very close to those 50 watts. But I think what failed may not even be this uh, triac because the package here is still in one piece and the circuit board looks like it has just completely melted away. Um, that would be roughly like this. That crack is actually where there's a gap in the circuit board, but this side is just gone. So what may have happened is actually that these traces may have, one of these traces may have gone. Hmm, can't get this off. But, uh, seems to still be bonded to the substrate, which never really got that hot. And my guess is what happened here is that the whole thing got so hot that the solder melted away, at which point we're just left with the uh, trace, which is very thin, and then that just went. I had been planning on removing this contraption before we sell the house, but I guess I had to take it down a bit sooner. It had been working without signs of problems for four months straight. It never even got terribly hot. But I think what had happened is because I shut off the hot water heater when we went away for two weeks, it had to heat up that hot water heater a bit more and being further into the summer, the ambient temperature was a little bit higher. And I guess it had been on the ragged edge of hitting thermal runaway and that was enough to push it over. And then I think the trace may have gone, the solder melted out, and then with so much voltage and so much current, there was probably a lot of arcing in there once the uh, connection went, and that's what melted the whole thing to pieces.